what each of the the title went from the pastor's wife to the weight. What it, what what is the weight for each of these three characters? Very good question. Um, first of all, I think the initial idea it wasn't to adapt the book. It was. Um, me and Uncle wanting to work together on something deep. Uh, I contacted Uncle. We had worked together a long time ago in a TV series when I was a teenager and he was a newly graduated director. Uh, so I contacted him and then we started to discuss about and the novel came up and I read it. It's by a Finnish writer, Johanny Aho, 12 time Nobel Prize nominee. And um, the themes in the book spoke to me uh, very strongly. And I, I thought that if we take these, um, the aspects in the book and the storyline deeper and bring it to our time, um, we can create something, what we saw <laughs> on the screen. So, um, can you ask me again the first question? What each of the three characters is waiting for? Or waiting for. Yeah, for me, the, um, the title, Wait, I kind of see it more of as an expectation. Because in Finnish, um, the name is Odatus, the wait, which also means expectation. I think that we all have expectations to ourselves towards marriage, relationships, uh, sexuality, happiness, love. Um, so that's how I see it, but I don't want to say what each of the characters, what it is to them, because I think that you can decide it yourself. Which, which way you see it, What's, what are they waiting for, or what are, they, what are their expectations? If we fast forward to the next summer, <laughs> does he come back, and what happens? I think I throw the question back at you. <laughs> That's for all of us to decide, right? Exactly. Yeah. I kept getting the impression in the in the in the triangle that there was not only a relationship between your character and the visitor, but there was a former relationship between the pastor and the visitor. Mm -hmm. That's also possible. I'm again. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I I throw it kind of back at you because I think that um, this this movie really gives the opportunity to, like I said, to all of us see it the way we want to see it and. It kind of reveals our own beliefs to many things in life. So it's different to every everyone and ev everything is, every way of looking at it is right, is correct. There's no right or wrong. No. Uh, just because I knew you were going to be here, I brought a cello and we'd like for you to play something for us. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Do you actually play cello? I have played cello, not for a very long time, but I did play it in the film. No, no, I'm not a very good player, but I can play it. <laughs> that, that, that's all right. Oh, I have to tell a dirty joke. I played cello in high school, and when I got my first cello, I gave it a name. My cello's name was Gertrude, and I said, anything you, anything you have to play between your legs should have a name. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the score, 
was so fascinating for this. By, uh, you know, here, here in Hollywood, way back, um, we had any number of composers, conductors that, that escaped World War II and, and, um, and came to Los Angeles and, and became um, film composers. And uh, of course the score was by our own Esa Pekka Solomon and it's, it's a brilliant score and I see some of it's based on uh, other things that he's written. Did you guys work directly with him in pairing up the 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 musical aspects with the with the chamber music going on on the screen? Yeah, yeah, we worked together. Esa Esa the director, knew Esa Becca, and it's his first film score, and he was very enthusiastic about about the opportunity of composing something for our film, and. Uh, Yes, we worked very closely together with him. Question. Uh, I'll get to you next. Uh, where did you shoot? How did you achieve the neutral carbon color was really cool? And then two things about the film itself. It seems to me that you were, um, what was beautiful on the film is how you found nature, how your relationship with your sexuality and nature grounded you. For, for those who can't hear, Grounded by nature, so her sensuality was grounded by nature is a beautiful thing about the film. And also his struggle to define love is why you stayed with it. It, 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 it was everybody's answer as far as you're concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great comments, thoughts, and questions. And where did it shoot with her from Carbon Neutral? Yes. We shot it um, on an island in the archipelago of Finland, close to a city called Turku around the Turku area, about two and a half, three hours drive from Helsinki, the capital. Um, carbon, carbon negative, it's actually not just neutral, but negative. Um, we thought that, because this was a passion project, we had a small cast, small crew, we shot on the island, we really wanted to respect the nature that we were shooting the whole film. So it felt like natural to make this film a carbon negative film. We worked together with a nonprofit um, company, Compensate, and calculated everything. What we did in concrete was that um, we only used electric cars. We organized um, transport for um, people coming to the island so no one would drive their own car. Uh, luckily, we had solar panels on the island. Uh, we only had vegetarian food. Uh, everything, all the clothes, they were recycled, loaned. Um, that's about the, the, those main things. And everything we calculated together with Compensate, and then um, the compensation was roughly about only 800 euros, which is the equivalent to dollars, and then we planted trees, and that makes it. So we removed carbon dioxide more than we, uh, yeah, and that makes it negative, so. Interesting. Miria, you had a question. Yeah. How closely did you work with Sophie Austin? Very closely. She, she is the, or was the costume designer for the film. She was yeah no i am the screenwriter uh, together with the director the, uh, the, uh, this question is based in the name on the credits sophia oxenen is it the same as the writer sophia oxenen oh, no 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 she's is different she, yeah that, that's uh, that sophia oxenen is a writer and sophia oxenen is uh, another person uh, we did a finnish film called the Bold. Purge, yeah, and that right. was based on Sophia Oxenen's book. But but there's more than one Sophia Oxenen. <laughs> True. I actually want to get back to your thought about the nature, sensuality, all that. I think the nature itself it plays one character in the film, and we lived on the island for a month when we were shooting the film. 
it felt like, especially for me, um, with the small crew surrounded by only the sound of the wind, the ocean, it was very natural and easy to surrender to, to the character. And also, I always want to mention, because I felt like as if nature was communicating us throughout the filming, you can see a few animals in the film. There's the big cricket. One morning it just showed up. It was on the floor when we started to shoot and I picked it up in my hands and the cinematographer, he started to put the camera rolling and then I was acting with, <laughs> with him or her. And um, at the end of the film, there's, uh, you can see the deer um, in the, between the, um, the trees. That was the last day of shooting and the only day that it rained. I was playing the cello for real and then suddenly I saw that there's a deer standing there. And so <laughs> we all stopped everything that uh, went quiet and uh, the cam cameraman, he very, very um, silently walked towards it and it ended up in the film. Inka, thank you so much for your wonderful work both your on-screen work as, as actor and for your screenplay. We look forward to more. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you everybody. Much.